So this movie is getting very mixed reviews. It's on a lot of people's most anticipated movies of the year list. It's getting very mixed reviews, very similar to The Greatest Showman. Audiences really loved The Greatest Showman, even though critics didn't really find that movie all that great. Very mixed reviews for this movie. Will audiences warm up to this movie more than critics? Stay tuned for my review of Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody is the biopic about Queen's Freddie Mercury and the band Queen itself, dealing mostly with Freddie Mercury. He's basically the main focus of this movie, and he's dealing with his personal life, how he interacts with his bandmates in Queen, his personal life, his AIDS, all of that, all of that stuff. It's basically a biopic about Freddie Mercury. And as I said in the open, this movie is getting very mixed reviews from critics. It's got a 48 out of 100 on Metacritic. It's in the 50s on Rotten Tomatoes. I really expected those numbers to be up uh, very far. Um, I don't see why they're that low. This I found this movie, despite some shortcomings, despite some things that might feel a bit cliche, I found this movie very enjoyable. I found it a to be a good biopic of an icon, and I, it's very entertaining. I don't see the critics here. This is definitely going to have... This movie's definitely going to have the greatest showman syndrome. Critics didn't like it. Audiences are going to love it. This is going to be the same thing. Critics aren't going to like this movie. They haven't so far. Audiences are going to love it. Because every... Who doesn't love Queen? Everybody loves Queen. I mean, who doesn't love Queen? I love Queen. Queen's a really great rock band. Without Queen, I wouldn't have been able to blare We Are the Champions for three straight days when the Red Sox won the World Series, so... I mean, there's that. I get, I get Queen to thank for that. This movie does feel a bit by the numbers. It starts off a bit choppy the first 15 minutes of the movie. It's got poor pacing, and I was like, oh my god, here we go. This is going to be a poorly paced movie. It's going to be really boring. It's not going to be that well directed. Only Rami Malek is going to give a really good performance. And Rami Malek does give a good performance. I'll get into that in a minute. But the first 15 minutes are very choppy. It jumps around a lot. It goes from, oh, hey, here's Freddie Mercury to, oh, hey, here's Freddie Mercury meeting the bandmates. Okay, they're a band. Okay, he's got a girlfriend. Okay, it's one year later. That, I mean, that's really my biggest issue with this movie is that pacing-wise, it's a bit choppy at times. Uh, also, the character development is not up to par with the girlfriend and the bandmates, but that's all made up for with the fact that all of these actors shine. They all have chemistry together. When they're on screen together, they're all in the movie a ton. So that makes up for the lack of character development. The character development is very nitpicky in this movie. Also, it started to drag a little bit towards the end. The second act, I was just like, I want to see Creed. Creed? Queen. I'm leaving that in. I want to see them perform or record, and I didn't really get to see that in the second act of the movie. It was starting to drag a little bit. I was like, this, I hope this picks up. Luckily, it did. Rami Malek as Freddie Mercury. Let's talk about that guy. Best performance of the year, by far. Rami Malek transformed himself into Freddie Mercury. I was not watching an actor in a movie. I was watching Freddie Mercury. It's like Freddie Mercury rose from the dead to star in his own biopic. That's what it felt like. Rami Malek just completely disappears into the role of Freddie Mercury. I don't know if he sung any of the songs. I think he sung a good majority of them. I mean, We Will Rock You, you can tell he didn't sing. Um, there's some, when he's in the recording studio, you can tell he's lip-syncing. When he was filming this movie, they were like, Dude, Rami Malek, you're gonna try and sing? You can try. But just get this. Let's Stop. Sing. Before I start crying, because I've found the missing ingredient. You're in the band. If that was really Rami Malek singing, he captured Freddie Mercury's voice. All of the rest of the band, there is not one single bad performance in this movie. Mike Myers! Austin Powers himself! Yes, the Mike Myers. That guy. Rose from the dead as well. Last thing I saw him in was in Glorious Bastards. He's in this movie. He's awesome. Doesn't give a bad performance. Really, the soundtrack, it's what you expect from a biopic about Queen. 
you have a great soundtrack here. That's what makes this movie so entertaining. My buddy and I that I saw this movie with, when we we both really liked it. He liked it a little bit more than I did. I didn't I think he loved it. I really liked it. I didn't love it. But I really liked this movie and we both walked out and immediately I agreed with him on this on the statement. He said I felt like I just attended a Creed concert. Fuck me, hey, I did it again. That's staying in there, too. I feel like I just attended a Queen concert. I'm like, dude, I don't blame you, because in the third act of this movie, I wanted to take out my phone, put on the flashlight, and start waving it around like they do at rock concerts, you know? You know, I wanted to go up and down the aisle. I wanted to start singing in the theater, but out of respect for the people, you know, who were there to watch a movie, I didn't start singing We Are The Champions when that came on. I didn't start singing We Will Rock You as much as I wanted to. I didn't. That's what's so... In there's so much enjoyment to be had with this movie. And the critics are going to be like, Well, you know, I mean, it's not historically accurate. I mean, they're leaving out a lot of Freddie Mercury's life. Yes. Okay, they leave out a lot of details about Freddie Mercury. But you can only squeeze so much in in 2 hours and 15 minutes. And you have to remember, this is a PG-13 rated biopic. Which I was actually surprised at. But thinking about it now... I don't, if this movie was rated R, it wouldn't have added anything to the movie. I really thought I was going to walk out of this saying that movie would have benefited from an R rating. No. Like, PG-13 was perfect for this movie. You could still get across the message of what Freddie Mercury's life meant to people with a PG-13 rating. You could still express different aspects of Freddie Mercury's life with that PG-13 rating. It got it went to the hard PG-13 at a couple times, but you didn't have to go to the extra extent to make this movie rated R. I'm glad that they stuck to their guns and didn't do it, because I don't know if it would have been as good if it was rated R. I've seen critics say that this is another by-the-numbers biopic. It's very cliche. I mean, to an extent, it is. I've also seen critics say All Eyes on Me is better. What are they smoking? Are they watching, like, a Michael Bay movie? I, uh, I don't know, because... I wouldn't rank this up there with Straight Outta Compton. I mean, I think it's got more entertainment value than Straight Outta Compton. I haven't seen Notorious, but I mean, I've seen Walk the Line. I've seen All Eyes on Me. I've seen I've seen Straight Outta Compton. I mean, those are I've seen Ray. I mean, it's up there. This is. I think this is the most, this is the one where you can get the most entertainment value out of. It is definitely far superior than All Eyes on Me. If you think All Eyes on Me is a better movie than Bohemian Rhapsody, get in the fucking bathroom! Bohemian Rhapsody was a great surprise because when I saw these reviews, I was really worried. A lot of the time, I tend to agree with the critics, but I'm really happy that I disagreed with them because this is, this is definitely a greatest showman. It's a movie that's going to get really, it's going to get shit on by critics. But audiences are going to love it. It, it. it will enrich Queen's legacy. It will enrich Freddie Mercury's legacy. I had a lot of fun with this movie. It's got, it's also got some great humor. There is some great humor in this movie. Laugh out loud humor too. Not just like, huh, that was funny. It was actually like, there were actually some scenes where I was dying laughing. And... The performances in this movie. Everybody is committed in this movie. They do a good job. Brian Singer and Dexter Fletcher. Brian Singer is the only director listed, but he got fired for reasons I will not explain. So Dexter Fletcher came in, directed the rest of the movie. Dexter Fletcher, because of the Directors Guild of America rules, did not get directing credits. So all the directing credit went to... Brian Singer and Dexter Fletcher instead is a producer, but they both did a really good job. This movie could have been a mess with two different directors, but it ended up being something that you could savor. That you could watch. This is a movie you can watch on a day where you're feeling down. You're just like, let me pop in that Creed bio. I keep saying Creed. It's Queen. God, dude, get with the program. You can just pop in this Queen biopic and instantly feel better about yourself if you're having a bad day. Guys, I really enjoyed Bohemian Rhapsody, and I'm going to give Bohemian Rhapsody an A-. minus. Yeah, that letter grade scale, that's soon that's going to be gone. I don't know when. I have a new rating system coming. 
Uh, I don't know when I'm going to implement that. I have it drawn up. I don't know when I'm going to implement it. But, yeah, that letter grade system, that's gone. That's going to be gone soon. Uh, thank you guys for watching my review of Bohemian Rhapsody. I can't wait to bring you more reviews. You can, I will leave my link to my website in the description below. You can find all my links to my social media accounts there. Guys, my name is Alex Madden. I'll see you soon.